Hello and welcome to Code Time. My name is Trevor Greenleaf. In this series, we're going to be covering HTML to Canvas. HTML, as you know, the very traditional hypertext markup language, allows us to take any of the code that we write in HTML, whether that's static HTML or dynamic HTML with a JavaScript library, something like Vue.js or React, and we can capture that content in an image and essentially put that image into a Canvas object, and that's an HTML5 Canvas object. That then allows us to do whatever we want to the Canvas object, and once that's all we're happy with that, we can then convert that maybe to Base64, uh, which will be our uh, encoding, and then save that to a server or process it or do whatever we're going to do with it. So that's what we're covering today is how we can capture that HTML and then do something with it, whether that's an entire screen or just an image. So to get started with this, I'm on HTML to Canvas dot H E R T Z E N dot com. And that is the creator of HTML to Canvas. And you can see down here on this page that it has over 13,000 uh, stars on GitHub. So quite popular considering it has just this one sort of purpose. They give you a little demo to try out here, and that you'll find this little camera icon, and it'll pop out and then click the capture button. And you'll see here, um, there it is, HTML to Canvas is taking a complete shot of the browser window and then has converted to a Canvas object and is now showing us that Canvas object. I'd like to show you one more. This is moodzer.com. Moodzer.com is a collage or mood board generator. It has a lot of other things that it does, but I particularly want to talk about the mood board generation part of moodzer.com. So we're on a board right now. This is a sample board called Sports Brand, and you can see some various photos and colors demonstrating or representing a collage or mood board for a sports brand. Each of these is a div, but these divs, they're called units inside Moodzer, can be moved around. So you can see we can drag these and bring them up. And uh, they're essentially positioned absolute, and then they get moved around, uh, and then they store that position. It uses Vue.js and uh, a lot of other technologies. In particular here, I wanna talk about is the HTML to Canvas portion of this. So this is HTML elements, they're images. Some of these are just divs with color, as I can click on this and change the color here, save it, and you can see that changes the color of the unit, which is simply just changing the background color of a div. This, we wanna take this as sort of board, right? And we want to save it out as a JPEG or a PNG or a PDF. So here under board options, we can download a PNG, JPEG, or PDF of our board. When that happens, uh, that's essentially grabbing this entire board or interface here, and then we're doing an HTML5 to Canvas uh, conversion, sending the image to the server. The server then stores the image, uh, does some other stuff, I won't get into that and then sends back the path to the board, to the browser, and the browser initiates a download of that path or image. And that's the process. So you might do something similar to this on your app or your website for maybe some of your content. Maybe you're making a proposal generator or an invoice creating system and you need to generate an invoice. Many ways to generate invoices, but maybe you're not concerned about having live text. Again, when you make an HTML5 canvas object you don't really have live text i mean by live text is here the selectable text you won't have that on the html5 canvas object because it will be an image or pixels and we won't be able to select it so if you were creating something like an invoice you would then uh just have a, an image essentially of the invoice which works great um but it wouldn't be searchable and things like that then you could take that and convert that to a PDF and then send it back or store it or whatever you're going to do with it. 
So that's what we're covering in this series on HTML to Canvas. This is just gonna show you some basic examples uh, of code and how to do it and how to set it up. Pretty straightforward. All right, let's jump into that in the next episode where we go and uh, set up an HTML document.